what's up fam welcome to my channel i hope all of my beautiful my powerful and my handsome scorpios out there are doing well all right y'all so we're gonna piggyback from the last reading that I did okay the last one talked about someone here has learned a valuable lesson okay that they didn't know what they had into their life baby until you were gone so i don't know about y'all scorpio but shit let's see what type of lessons this person done learned here okay so if anything resonates for you don't forget to like share subscribe if you have not and comment okay and if you're interested in a personal my email will be in the description box below all right i want to say i love you guys scorpio thank you for y'all patience you know what i'm saying y'all still subscribing liking you know what i'm saying the videos coming so i just want to say thank you give you a little shout out to y'all all right holy spirit let's see what type of lessons this person has learned dealing with my beautiful my handsome and my powerful scorpio what lessons has this person learned all right so scorpio this person learned that they cannot be indecisive and fuck around with a scorpio someone here realized that they have to use their intuition so you were dealing with someone, Scorpio, when it came to you, they didn't use their intuition. I feel like I feel like for a lot of us, you know, especially dealing with people from our past, Scorpio, it was like these people were supposed to use their intuition. They were supposed to know, Scorpio, we were the ones for them and they were the ones for us and then work off that shit. You know, but this is someone who I feel like they didn't use their intuition in all aspects of life. So this is someone who I feel like it was very hard for them to make some type of decision. I feel like this is someone who didn't have a strong connection with source. And when you don't have that connection to, to the universe, the Holy Spirit, your spirit guides, your trusted ancestors, you know, it's hard to make decisions, you know, because you don't have that guidance. And when you use your intuition, you allow Holy Spirit to guide you in all aspects of your life because you understand that the universe just wants the best for you. You don't listen to these other people, your so-called family members and friends and these people you grew up with because nine times out of ten, they don't want the fucking best for you. They're going to tell you that shit. They're going to make you believe that. But the only person in the world who truly wants the best for you is Holy Spirit. I feel like someone here created a lot of illusions in their life. I feel like these illusions were created because they were very scared. You know what I'm saying? This is kind of like a little scary kid. And this is someone who I feel like they had to be taught very valuable lessons. I feel like this is someone, it was very hard for them to make decisions, period. You know, because they never listened to their intuition. For one, I feel like this is someone who was like, they know it all. You know what I'm saying? Like, even they wouldn't even, like, they, they felt they knew so much, they couldn't even listen to their own intuition, Scorpio. Like, that's fucked up. Where you two, you just feel like, you know, that you can't even listen like this person's intuition could be screaming at them like go left and they're gonna be like no nah, fuck that i'm gonna go right you like this is someone who will argue with their own intuition but them being indecisive i feel like led them down a lot of effed up paths and a lot of effed up ways like it led to this person making a lot of bad decisions in life because they didn't allow their intuition to guide them and lead them to make the right decisions here Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Tell us more. So someone here has learned, Scorpio, that they must make a decision or they can't walk around all their life and be indecisive. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to miss out on opportunities. Sure. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. What lessons has this person learned? Empathy. This is someone, like I was talking about in that last reading, when you when you close off to, when you close your heart off, when you try to block things, you try not to feel things. I feel like this is someone who blocked off their heart because they did. Like, this is a very sensitive person is what I'm picking up on. Because anytime you try to block off your heart or you try to uh, de detach yourself from feelings and emotions, it's because you're really sensitive. You're really the type of person who wears your, your heart on your sleeves, okay? And nine times out of ten, when you wear your heart on your sleeves, you're normally getting hurt. 
So I feel like someone here shut themselves out to feelings and emotions. They became very emotionally detached. Thank you, Spirit. Someone here became very emotionally detached. And it just wasn't with you. Like they did this with everybody in their life because this, like I said, was a very sensitive energy. This is a person who, male or female, it doesn't matter. They really wore their heart on their sleeve. 444 on the timer, and it's 844, as I'm saying this shit. Come on through, Spirit. And I feel like because this person had detached themselves from feelings and emotions, allowed themselves to feel anything, Scorpio, when they hurt you, it was like it was nothing. I'm gonna keep it real to keep it real with you. That per this person did not feel shit when they hurt you. Because this is someone when you detach yourself and what's called, man. All right, come on through spirit. <laughs> What's so crazy, y'all? It's like, I'm going through shit now. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I be telling y'all, you know, I'm just trying to help y'all out. You know, I'm on the twin flame journey too, but I got a soulmate I'm dealing with. And even though I'm not dealing with my twin, I don't know, I've done very little about this dude, like real talk. But it's like living this experience out with my soulmate, I, that's what's helping me understand this twin flame shit on a deeper level. Like it's deeper than this shit motherfuckers be telling you. Like this shit real deep, you know what I'm saying? Like this shit is deeper than people telling y'all, y'all gonna be together and this and that. Like you got to understand this shit. Understand why this person did what they did, why they hurt you and why it's taking so long. Like a lot of people don't understand why this shit takes so long. Because a lot of these people, Scorpio, man, like, and I don't be knowing if y'all be understanding, like when I be telling y'all, like, like I'm trying to help y'all understand this shit. Because I can tell some people don't just still want to argue like they did this and they did that. And I'm not trying to not when nobody did shit. I can tell you some shit my motherfucking twin did to me, you know? But it's like when you understand a deeper level, because we deep, Scorpio, and that's why a lot of us was put on certain paths, because we were going to be able to understand deeply how this shit is. And it's like dealing with my soulmate, yeah, he, this is him. He had closed himself off to feelings and emotions because of his past, because he was someone who got hurt as a child. You know what I'm saying? And so his inner child has just been crying to be loved all these years. But when you get hurt, when a small child get hurt or go through some type of trauma, you know, they kind of hold on to their pain, but they try to mask it. And this is someone who tried to mask it. And that's why for some of us, it was like our person like really fucking deceived us because they were so good at masking and hiding themselves from the world, you know, that to where it was so hard, it, it, it's so hard to fathom and to understand the shit that, that they did, you know what I'm saying, and why they did it. But this is someone, when you close yourself out to feelings and emotions and just feeling shit, you don't, you don't see, you can't understand what you did, you know what I'm saying? It took this person, I'm telling you, and that's why a lot of us on these twin flame journeys, it's going to take a long time. Like, we understand the feminine is always ahead of the masculine on this journey, okay? Because we were the ones that wanted to. We wanted difference. We were looking for shit, okay? They still up here dreaming in this dreamy ass world, in this fairy tale ass land. We got tired of living these dreams, okay? What big say? It was all a dream, okay? We got tired of dreaming this shit. We was ready for shit to happen in real life, okay? This is someone they could not feel sorry for what they did, Scorpio. They couldn't. They couldn't take accountability for what they did to you because they lack empathy. And when you lack empathy in your life, you can't see nothing wrong. You can't, if somebody get killed, unless it's somebody close to you, you don't even feel sorry for this shit. Cause you like that, I'm telling you, that's how fucked up this person was. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit, tell us more. This person wasn't able to see both sides of a situation. This is someone who only looked at situations, only looked at life from their perspective. You know what I'm saying? This is someone who who it was hard for them to understand other people's point of view, other people's perspective. One, because they felt like they was always right. And then two, they lacked that that empathy. When you can't empathize with other people in their situations, like you a cold-hearted motherfucker. Like this was a cold-hearted person, Scorpio. Very cold-hearted. And I don't know if some of y'all realize how cold-hearted y'all person was. I'm starting to see how cold-hearted mine was. And that's why I had my experience with him, and then Spirit took me on out the picture. Because she had I been in that shit a little longer, shit, I'd have been more fucked up than what I was, okay? Excuse my French, but shit, that's what it is. <laughs> Look at this imagination. I feel like someone here, what was that song? It was just my imagination once again. 
running away with me. So someone here always allows their imagination to just run away. Like if they told themselves, you know what, I can, I can, you know what I'm saying? Like it's good to dream, but this person, like they lived in this fairy tale world. You know what I'm saying? Like they allow their, their imagination to just take them all over the place. And you know, this is someone, if you had a conversation with them and they get to explain this shit to them, you probably look at them like, what the f is wrong with you? Like, how did you even think of this? Like, this is someone who would just say crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Think of crazy things because they just allowed their imagination. Like, this could have been someone, hell, maybe they Neptune and Pisces. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is someone who always stayed in that dreamy state. Then look at all this purple here, Scorpio. We got all different types of shade. I feel like this is someone who they didn't listen to their intuition or... You know, that deep knowing, like that gut feeling. We all had that gut feeling that be telling us, shit. we don't listen to our intuition, our gut still talk to us. You know what I'm saying? We still get them feelings in our stomach. Be like, I don't know. This shit just don't feel right. This person ain't even listening to that shit. You know what I'm saying? Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpios. We want to know what lessons this part. Man, look at this. God damn. Look at all this purple. This is someone who was not very disciplined. For some of you guys, this was your emperor. But when you met them, they was your emperor in reverse, okay? They lack control, discipline, direction, all that type of shit. This is someone who I feel like, just like you, Scorpio, some of you guys, you're very creative, okay? Some of you are going to be creating your own, your streams of income, okay? You're not going to have to work. Some of you may not be working now, you know what I'm saying? And you're trying to think of other streams of income. I feel like it was meant for some of you guys to have your own, like, and, and it was crazy. I remember my homeboy told me this shit, and I, it, I couldn't understand this shit until now. I'm up here stuttering this shit, y'all. Y'all, this last quarter moon got me fucked up. <laughs> Man, cannot talk for nothing. Okay, so some of us, Scorpio, it wasn't meant for us to work in the physical world, you know what I'm saying? Because spirit had something better set up for us, right? Spirit was going to bless us in a way to where we were going to have our own businesses. But you're going to have to be creative on how you're going to get this income. Like, shit, you just can't be sitting out here thinking folks going to give you donations and shit. It's hard out here for a pimp these days. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be very creative. And you were dealing with someone who I feel like was very creative, too. And together, you guys are supposed to come together and create some great shit together, right? But this person lacked discipline. They can be rational. You know, it's good to have to use. That's how you be creative. You use your imagination. You know what I'm saying? You think of creative things. Okay. But this is someone like they just imagination just ran too damn far. So it was like you were more rational and more logical. You know, you were more disciplined with your thoughts. You know, even though it, it sounded like a great idea, you know, that's when you came in with the with the dis with the logical. You know what I'm saying? That's when you came in, like, I don't know, this don't make no damn sense to me. Like, how the fuck are we supposed to get the A? to G, and we don't even know, we can't even get nowhere in between, you know what I'm saying, like, you were the person that brought the logic, I feel like this is someone who possibly brought the creative side, maybe you're very creative too, you guys created things, but you know, it takes a lot of logic behind creativity, you know what I'm saying, you got to know a great idea can be a great idea, but can this shit really work, and I feel like that's where you came into play, you were more disciplined with your thoughts, your ideas, you know what I'm saying, this person lacked discipline. And they had to learn to be more disciplined in their ways, their actions, their thoughts, their intentions. You got to have good intentions out here in the world. Why? Because shit, karma is real. And if you out here just mingling with people or you dealing with people so or for what you get out the deal or, you know, because you're opportunist and stuff like that, you scamming people, you doing people wrong, shit going to hit you back hard, baby, tenfold. And this is someone that they weren't disciplined like you. They had to learn that shit, though. They had to learn that shit. They set their mind to anything. They can have that shit. If they want to be a millionaire, you set your mind to it. You can be a millionaire. Don't let nobody tell you, oh, you can't make a million dollars. You can't do this. You can't do that. Why the fuck I can't? Just because you weren't able to see a lot of people Scorpio project. You know what I'm saying? That's why spirit, a lot of times in these regions, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, keep your business to yourself. Because these these visions that spirit gave you, hell yeah, that's, that shit seemed way far-fetched. You know what I'm saying? People be like, man, it's Smell crazy. They'll never achieve that. But it wasn't for them to achieve. That's why they can't see the vision. The vision wasn't theirs. It was yours. And that's why it's important sometimes to keep your business and see yourself because everybody still ain't going to see your dream. They're not going to see the vision, but it wasn't meant for them to see. As long as you see it and you believe it, you can create that shit, okay? All right, y'all. So that's all I got for this reading.
we're going to see who this is about, okay? Who this was that learned these very valuable lessons. I feel like this could be a part two to that first reading I did. All right, so you could have been dealing with heavy Gemini, Sag, Scorpio. We got Gemini, Sag, Leo, Cancer. And we have Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Aries. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.